Yeah, you bet. You're right about that, Christine. Big, big event here. Big name comedians that you know on stage. But nobody laughing here at the Laugh Factory when it comes to why this event is taking place. Let's get into it. Mike, you'll give you a look. The, the crowd wrapping around the block. These are the folks heading in for the second show. All the shows here tonight long sold out. And uh, all the proceeds going to help the actors, the writers, everybody hit hard by the double barrel strikes that have pretty much shut down Hollywood. Let's get into it. Watch. <laughs> The Hollywood strike takes center stage here at the Laugh Factory in Hollywood. We are here for a great cause to support the writers and the actors that are on strike. Let's make some noise. Comedian Ruben Paul, just one of several A-listers on this night, all as they, as they say here in the Stand Up for Strikers benefit. We're going to put some money into it. We're going to make sure people stay housed, stay fed. Now, I can't take care of everybody. I'm having a hard time with my own family. <laughs> but we can raise some money and make some things happen. It's a packed house, sold out with tickets starting at $25 and up. A marquee event on the Sunset Strip that has fans lining up early, even some striking union members showing their support. And we're here in support and solidarity with the writers and ourselves. I guess it's beyond solidarity at this point. We all trying to get a fair contract from the greedy producers. It's just the latest fundraising event by the Laugh Factory. Last June, all the proceeds from its opening night here at its newest club in Covina, just like Tuesday's big benefit show here on the Strip, all going to the Entertainment Community Fund. That's the point. That's the point. Hopefully, do whatever we can do, help the entertainment community and everybody. That's part of the whole thing. We, you know, we, without them, without comedian, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> That is the first glimmer of hope finally comes in the three-month-old writer's strike as the Writers Guild and the studios are talking again. At the Laugh Factory, the strike has the cast of the independent film back on the strip dealing with that strike in their very own way. In lieu of a premiere, why don't we have a comedy show and donate all the proceeds to the people who are out of work? Uh, I'm actually one of them. And, uh, and donate that to them because that would be a great cause, right? So we're doing stand-up for strikers. You bet that would be a great cause. Now, live, the Laugh Factory and its owner, Jamie Masada, certainly no stranger to helping out, long known for helping uh, the homeless and those in need for feeding the big meals and Thanksgiving. And for these benefits, uh, Jamie's saying that the Laugh Factory will continue to do its part, more benefits planned until he says everybody is back to work, the writers, the strikers, everybody affected by these strikes. As far as the latest talks with uh, the Writers Guild, the producers, uh, some of the union members here tonight telling me the talks broke off and they were we're told by their leadership nothing substantial today but as everybody here is saying at least at least they're talking again for now we're live here on the sunset strip back to both of you we go and noting tiffany haddish has that haunted mansion movie out right now can't do any promotion for it all right yeah. thanks much no that's the thing